Good morning, family. Just wanted to hop on here. I just got through Ubering my precious wife to school. And uh, now I'm headed back down to our church property for a uh, podcast meeting this morning with my producer as we are getting ready to launch season five. Um, October the 9th is the rollout day for the first episode. So we still have a few episodes to record for season five. I can't believe I'm already starting season five. Um, but we have three episodes already recorded for five. And then we're going into um, the release date of those. We'll start October the 9th. So um, I would just like for you guys to, to pray with me about where this podcast needs to go next. I try to be really intentional about who uh, to have on and who to tell their story and kind of the relevance of their story relative to, to where we are right now. Uh, and so, you know, if it were me, I would just want everybody to be on the podcast and just talk to them and hear their stories and have fun conversation and stuff. But I'm moving forward, I'm just really, the traction that this podcast is picking up at times is overwhelming. Uh, it's just, I mean, I'm thankful, but I just don't know where it's going to go next. And quite frankly, I haven't really known where it's going to go from day one. <laughs> uh, it's sort of kept it fun and kind of an adventure, but I want to be a wise steward over this gift that, that God has given. And so just pray with me about where this needs to go next. And um, my producer has some ideas. He's really wanting to monetize it, uh, but I don't know. You know, I don't know anything about that. And so he is eager to learn. He's, uh, he's He knows already. He's already learned. So um, I just want to make the right decisions and have the right people on there. Um, I've been blessed to have some really interesting guests. I've got some interesting ones coming this season. I'm excited for you all to hear. Um, so, yeah, just pray for me um, with that. And also, um, I got a text last night from a guy here in town named Ian Eskelin. He is a, a producer here in town. Um, and evidently he's got quite the resume. I, I know him, you know, it's on a surface level. I met him through someone else and, um, uh, I've never worked with him, but he's worked with people like Francesca Battistelli and just uh, a bunch of different uh, artists here. He's a really, really neat guy. And, um, so he texted me last night and wanted to hire me to come sing on a session tomorrow never worked for him before and i'm not sure where he heard me uh but anyway i got opening doors like this and just opportunities uh it's exciting but just pray that um, god would just continue to keep me low and leaning into his heart intimately and just walking into these opportunities there's some other things that are in the works right now that are happening that i'm not going to share with you just yet but suffice it to say it feels pretty good to kind of begin to see things uh, come to fruition and to fulfillment that you feel like that you've been prepared for for literally the entirety of your life. And I wish that I would have whatever alignments needed to happen and whatever healing needed to happen in me. I wish it could have happened in my 20s or 30s, but evidently I was too numb-nutted and numb-skulled to... Uh, allow that to be the case so thankfully god is not intimidated by a, a number on a calendar and so i'll be 54 on monday just a little bug in my family's ear there this coming monday i turn 54 uh and i feel literally in so many ways like i'm 34 24 or 34 so i believe that's the preservation the supernatural preservation of god and uh so just getting started i feel like really just getting out of the starting blocks so I just want my family to pray with me and stand by me, uh, stand with me. And just, um, I believe this season is going to be marked by an effortless flow where it's not going to feel like I'm having to do anything relative to pushing myself forward or into breakthrough. It's going to be a flow, uh, as I keep my face and my head leaned in intimately to the heart of God and, um, allowing him just to direct my steps and my path and relationships and stuff so anyway just thought i'd drop that little update on y'all and uh, tell you i love you today and i hate i hadn't been able to see a lot of you um during this month but hey we still got almost a week left in this month so we'll see what happens all right y'all have a great day love you